My name's Ryan, and I consider myself a professional road racer. Some years ago, I was banned for two years for doping. I started my career in triathlon. All I did was go to school, train, and sleep, day after day. I was pretty good, very good in fact, although never quite good enough to make the world teams. Then I quit. I was kind of looking for something a little less rigorous. I kept running to keep my weight off and trained with a local guy just for kicks because I enjoyed doing the workouts. I quickly learned that I could earn money road racing and I started doing that. The truth is, I don't really enjoy running. Not like some guys that just aren't happy unless they're running. It's not my thing. For me, running was all about lifestyle. The reason I kept running is because I love traveling and road racing gave me the opportunity to have this great lifestyle. Imagine getting paid to travel somewhere exotic and beautiful because you are participating in a race. All I had to do was to train to maintain respectful times so I could race all year long and have the lifestyle I wanted. I stagnated for a while, like every athlete does, but I was savvy enough to keep myself in the game. Then I had an accident. I could not run. I was in bad shape, both physically and mentally. Racing was my only source of income so it was critical to recover as fast as I could. I guess doping was inevitable. It worked for me. It helped me to recover more quickly. And for me, the quicker I got back into training and back on the road, the better. It went on for two and a half years. A teammate saw the used vials and confronted me. I admitted doing it. I served my two year suspension, went back to running and never used doping again. Do I have any regrets? I returned a big chunk of the prize money I won to be redistributed amongst the athletes who finished behind me in races during those two and a half years. But the thing is, I never raced on dope. Not even once. I was tested a few times during competitions, but never tested positive. But doping is doping. It is easy to rationalise it when you're desperate, but that does not make it right. Know your body, know your substances, know your rules.